Well, how it came about was I was uh, always a storyteller. In my classrooms, I learned easy, early on as a teacher. When I was telling a story, the kids were like this. When I'm teaching concepts, the kids are like this. So I learned a lot of stories to illustrate the points. And I was giving, a, it was about a month period where I'd be out teaching teachers at the time. And people would say, that story about the Boy Scout, is that in the book anywhere? That story about the boy and the puppy, is that in the book anywhere? My daughter used to need it, my sales force. I go, no, it should be in a book. So I'm coming home on a plane from Boston to LA where I was living at the time. And I was like, I'm being told, put these stories in a book. So I made a list of all the stories I knew, about 70. And then Mark Victor Hansen came in a little later in the project and he added 30 more and we ended up with 101. And that's how that came to be. And these were all stories I'd been telling and Mark had been telling in our seminars. So they all were like tried and true, tested, we knew they worked. The title's interesting. The title came, we didn't have a title. We had to go to New York to try to sell the book. And it was like, Warm and fuzzy stories, what do we call this? So Mark and I are both meditators, so we decided we would meditate, and we would ask a higher power to give us a title. So on the third day, I'm sitting in my bedroom, on a, you know, my chair meditating like this, and I saw this hand come out on an imaginary chalkboard in my head, like the kind of school, it just wrote chicken soup, big letters. And I said, chicken soup? Why does that have to do with my book? And the voice said, to the hand said, um, when you were sick as a child, your grandmother gave you chicken soup. I said, but this is not a book about sick people. And the voice said, people's spirits are sick. They are living in resignation, fear, and hopelessness. This was 93, big recession in America, mm -hmm. Gulf War going on, first Gulf War. And so I thought, chicken soup for the spirit, chicken soup for the soul. And I got goosebumps. I mean, my whole body just lit up. Told my wife, she got goosebumps. Told Mark, he got goosebumps. Our literary agent got goosebumps. Went to New York, talked to 21 Acquisition editors, nobody got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> it took us another year to sell the book. Wow. Everyone said, people don't read short stories, you guys aren't famous, it's not edgy, it's not sexy, it's not, you know, whatever. And so we went the next year to a convention of booksellers with our 4,000 publishers that have booths to sell their books to bookstore owners. And um, we went, for, literally, we stopped at everyone unless they only did maps, like, you know, Ram McNally or something. Would you buy our book? We'll tell you about it. And eventually someone said yes. And next year we sold 1.3 million books.